Let's look at question 2b. You have a fraction here plus another fraction. Let's see what's happening. One method that you could use to work this out. A shortcut way of doing it is to find the LCM, draw the line and find the LCM of 7x minus 1 and x. Of course, when you multiply them, you get a multiple. Come on, multiple. x times 7x minus 1. Put, notice I put the 7x minus 1 in brackets. Then 7x minus 1 into x times 7x minus 1 goes x times. It's like saying you have x 7x minus 1 over 7x minus 1. This is the 7x minus 1 and this is this one. They say x 7x minus 1 into x times 7x minus 1. The 7x minus 1 cancel and it goes x times. x multiplied by 3. It's 3x. You remember your fractions, right? Plus x into x times 7x minus 1. Like saying x times 7x minus 1 and over x. x into x1, x into x1. So you have a 7x minus 1 left. 7x minus 1 times 1 is a 7x minus 1. Alright? Equals 0. I didn't um, find the LCM for anything over here. Now let's see what we could do. We have an x, 7x minus 1 below this line. Suppose we multiply both sides by x, 7x minus 1. But just before we do that, up here we have 3x plus 7x minus 1. 3x plus 7, we could remove a bracket and just add the 3x and 7x. So you have 10x minus 1 up top all over x by 7x minus 1 equals 0. Suppose we want to get rid of the x 7x minus 1 under here. This would be like 0 over 1. If you multiply by x 7x minus 1, you notice x and x 7x minus 1 cancels x 7x minus 1. But since we multiply the right hand the left hand side by x 7x minus 1, we must do the same thing over here. x 7x minus 1. On the left, we have 10x minus 1 equals, well, 0 times a number is 0, so it's 0. Then what we could do is add the 1 to both sides to get rid of the 1. We remember we want x, so we want to get rid of uh, anything else that is there. We want x equal. What we have is 10x minus 1 equal. So get rid of the minus 1 and then get rid of the 10. So you have x alone. So if you add 1 to both sides, plus 1 plus 1, negative 1 plus itself, that's gone, 0. So we have 10x on the left equal 1 on the right. 0 plus 1 is 1. Then, finally, 10 times x is equal to 1. Well, I know that 10 times 1, 10. 10 times 1 over 10 is 1, so x must be 1 over 10. Or I could divide both sides by 10. 10 would cancel itself here and be end up under the 1 here. So x is equal to 1 over 10, 1 tenth. Let's see if we could do it another way. If we have some other way that uh, we could work it out, right? I could say here is that since we have 3 over 7x minus 1 plus 1 over x is equal to 0, you could subtract 1 over x and it ends up on the right hand side. Right? That's one thing you could do. 
let me put some space between it so it's 3x plus 1 over x equals 0 if I say on the left you minus 1 over x 1 over x minus itself and it's gone the only thing you have left here is 3 over 7x minus 1 equal if you subtract from the left on over here you must subtract from the right as well negative 1 over x so you have negative 1 over x so 3 over 7x minus 1 is equal to negative 1 over x now what do we do with it if you multiply both sides by 3 over 7x minus 1 what would happen 3 over 7x minus 1 multiply by 7x minus 1 equal negative 1 over x multiply by 7x minus 1 now why did I multiply by 7x minus 1 because I want x and x to go together also I don't want fractions it's easier to deal with numbers that are not fractions so look at what happened here 7x minus 1 cancel 7x minus 1 you're left with 3 alone on the left equals well on the right you still have your negative 1 over x times 7x minus 1 but this is the same thing as saying you have negative 7x minus 1 over x all right now if you multiply both sides by x running out of space i don't want to erase this this is the answer i got first so let's see if we can get it back using a different method you have this this means 3 over 1 all right could cross multiply r another way to think about it you multiply both sides by x you have 3 over 1 equal negative 7x minus 1 oh guess what when I had negative 1 times 7x minus 1 I would have had this in bracket the negative 1 change the sign multiply is 7x to become negative 7x but the negative 1 would go in the bracket and multiply the negative 1 so this would become plus 1 all right so it's so this would have been plus 1 when you multiply the brackets so we have I'll get rid of these extra marks all right so we have negative 7x plus 1 over x multiply both sides by x if I multiply this by x and this by x x cancel itself so what I get is 3x equals negative 7x plus 1 now I have negative 7x plus 1 if I add 7x alright yeah we're back if I add 7x to both sides to get rid of this 7x then we have 3x plus 7x equals we add 7x here but we have to add 7x huh? to the right as well add 7x to the left add 7x to the right negative 7x plus 7x and 7x is gone you're only left with 1 so 3x plus 7x gives you 10x equals 1 you see that and then if you divide by 10 divide by 10 10 cancel 10 leaving x alone equal 1 tenth so we have 1 tenth again right just a little modification to our methods and we get, get one tenth again all right now let's review what we did first 
and instead of say, saying we draw the line and find the LCM suppose we consider here that after we have the 3 over 7x minus 1 plus 1 over x equals 0 one thing you could consider is that if you multiply this the denominator here by x and multiply the numerator by x as well you multiply this denominator by 7x minus 1 and the numerator by 7x minus 1 as well that's one other way we could consider it let me move the equal 0 a little bit to the right so we want this denominator and this denominator to be the same so if we want the same denominators here we just add or subtract the top numbers and put it over the same denominator so if we multiply 7x minus 1 by x we get x 7x minus 1 and if we multiply x by 7x minus 1 we get the same thing x by 7x minus 1 which is what happened here so x times 3 is 3x at the top over x by 7x minus 1 plus then 7x minus 1 at the top over x times 7x minus 1 equals 0 you see that now the top 3x plus 7x minus 1 3x plus 7x minus 1 that's what we have up here over and it's x 7x minus 1 equals 0 all right it's 0 over 1 let's um, since we have fractions on the left let's turn the right into fractions too so instead of just write 0 write 0 over 1 if you multiply both sides by x by 7x minus 1 some people say we cross multiply this time this and this time this we're going to get 1 times all of this gives us 3x plus 7x minus 1 same thing here times 1 it doesn't change equals the x by 7x minus 1 times 0 gives 0 so 3x plus 7x is 10x minus 1 equals 0 add 1 to both sides because we have 10x minus 1 equal and we want x alone equal so get rid of the 1 and get rid of the 10 add 1 to both sides we have 10x equals 1 divide both sides by 10 then cancel 10 so we have x is equal to 1 tenth all right so we have different ways of looking at the same problem or the same question